Welcome back guys. So today I'm going to be continuing a series I haven't had on my channel for some time now and that was building my dream gaming and YouTube setup. Now in this video I'm going to be setting up probably one of the most insane desks I think I've ever seen. I've been so excited to set this up. And you might be thinking, Silent Core, you already have a desk. Why do you need another one? So before we get stuck into this video, I want to kind of show you guys what we have at the moment. Now, if you've missed some of the previous episodes in this series, we basically started at an empty room and worked our way up from the ground up. Now, when you guys see me in my videos, obviously the webcam's here. It points out this way. So this is what you guys see on the webcam. You might see my logo up there on my YouTube plaque. You don't tend to see all this stuff, so it's a little bit messy right now. But this is all going to be getting cleaned up um, when we build the new desk. So the desk I'm going to be setting up is a little bit smaller, but it has some really amazing improvements that I think is going to make it worth having a little bit less desk space. And I'm going to show you guys why. Okay, so we've got all the bits for the desk. Now just comes the part of putting them all together and figuring out where it goes where. Okay guys, the desk is finally set up and it looks absolutely amazing. As you can see underneath there's all these electronics that we're just going to try and plug in. And I won't take all the credit for it because my dad helped. Thanks dad. <laughs> You're welcome. Do this up. Dad's doing the honours. Alright, so it just needed a little second to initialise. It made me a bit worried there when it wasn't working straight away. But check this out guys. So this is like an electric desk that goes completely to the height you want. I don't know how long it goes. So if you're like super small, you might be able to sit there. But if you want to bring it up or even make a standing desk, it goes actually probably taller than me. Let's see how high this can go. There's my roof there, so it almost reaches the roof. And just for scale, I'll show you guys if I stand back a bit how tall this actually goes. So on top we also get the choice of black covers to contrast with white or some nice white ones. These could be kind of, I guess, invisible. Now if I show you guys under here real quick, it actually has a tray to run cables underneath. So it's the first time I've ever had like a desk that's actually has some sort of cable management system in it. And check this out, Halberd even sent this pretty badass little mouse map we've got here. Alright, so I've come to a little bit of a dilemma and I could maybe use some advice from you guys in the comments. So let me know what you think of this. Basically, my desk isn't quite as big as the last one I had, so I can't fit my three monitors plus the computer on the desk. So I need to decide whether I'm putting the computer behind the monitors and then push them forward, or would that look kind of weird, or I could put it potentially under the desk. Now, I was kind of hoping to have my computer up here because I really love my computer. I really think it deserves to be on show, but I guess if it's under the desk, you, you know, you'll still be able to see the lights, you'll be able to see the computer. Guys, we have pretty much got the desk set up. Everything is now working, and I can now get back to recording videos because I actually have quite a few I need to record today. I'm going to show you guys um, the new desk setup. So here is the finished setup. I've gone for the triple monitor setup. So this is my main and uh, my best monitor here in the middle from AOC, and these are uh, two sm slightly smaller Asus monitors on this side. So this is my, my good one that has the best, you know, the, the fast refresh rate, the G-Sync and all that stuff. So I'll be using that for gaming. And um, I kind of rock out peripherals, my nice Battlefield 1 mouse mat, my soft light up there for recording videos, my webcam, my mic, and pretty much all the essentials I need. The only thing that's missing are my consoles. I've been recording from console, my Elgato and that stuff. So this is a little bit messy down here and I might need to actually redo this because I don't think I've properly used the the rail under there to get all of the cables off the ground. You guys know, I've been a complete console player my whole life, so this PC gaming thing is very new to me. Now you guys might be wondering, Silent Core, why did you need a new desk? And the reason is, is because I really wanted a desk that can change levels, and um, kind of electronically. So this actually has a dial on it, which you can use to change the level of the desk. So you can go up and down anytime you want, and you can find um, the right height that works for you. And the great thing about having that flexible desk is because I actually read an article recently 
about how sitting too much every day actually kind of reduces your life expectancy. And for someone like me that kind of works from home, that does YouTube from home, sometimes streams from home, I'm actually at my computer for at least like eight hours a day, sometimes even more, sometimes like 10 or 12 hours a day. Uh, you know, I, I'm at my computer a lot. And it, it kind of goes the same if any of you guys have office jobs. You know, if you're working in an office, you're probably gonna be sitting there for like maybe eight or nine hours out of your day. And that is like a lot of time to be sit in, in the sitting position. I'll put this article in the description if you guys are interested in finding out much more about it. But it definitely made me someone that um, is at their computer a lot, really want to be a lot more proactive, be able to switch between sitting and standing because it reduces a lot of strain on your body. It's a lot better for your back. Apparently increases your life expectancy. So the desk company I decided to go with are called Halberd. And seriously guys, these have some of the most high tech desks I think I've ever come across. Like these things are like a whole new <laughs> next level of desks and you can even go as far as actually building your desk and it tells you exactly how much it's going to be so you can choose your, your package of your desk, your colour, um, all sorts of different designs and accessories and um, mounts for your monitors and um, even sort of drawers and stuff you can do and it shows you exactly what it's going to look like and yeah it's it's an absolutely it's kind of insane way to, to completely customise the desk that you want and uh, see exactly how much it is and even be able to choose between a static desk or one I guess like mine that you can switch between sitting or standing. So just to finish off this video guys, there's no denying that this desk is a very kind of luxury, high-end desk. Um, you know, if you're someone that's just a bit of a casual gamer and you're only at your desk a couple of hours a day, it might not be so worth it. But if you are someone that, you know, works from home or, you know, does a lot of gaming from home, it's probably worth looking into it since you're spending that much time at your desk. I'll put a link to both the health articles and also a link to Halberd's website where you can design your own desk, see how much it's going to be, and um, find a sort of layout that works for you guys. Even if you're, you don't want an extending desk, but still have some really cool options for, for kind of static desks. Definitely worth going online and checking them out, and uh, it probably will make a big difference to your gaming setup. I hope you guys enjoyed another episode in building my dream setup series. If you have any suggestions for my setup or things that you think I should add or change or do in a future episode, please do let me know. I would love to continue this series. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.